October 29, 1929. On Wall Street, Black Tuesday descends upon the New York Stock Exchange. Stock prices collapse amid panic selling, wiping out thousands of investors as America's Great Depression begins. 2004. In a videotaped statement, Osama bin Laden directly admits for the first time that he ordered the September 11th attacks. The al-Qaeda leader warns the best way to avoid another Manhattan is to stop threatening the security of Muslims. 1956. During the Suez Canal crisis, Israel invades Egypt's Sinai Peninsula. Just days later, British and French forces occupy the canal, which Egypt had nationalized. Then both Cold War superpowers, the United States and Soviet Union, demand a ceasefire. The crisis ends with UN peacekeepers deployed in the canal zone. 1901. In upstate New York, Leon Chalgosh dies in the electric chair for assassinating President William McKinley in Buffalo. Three, two, and 1998. One. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery with a crew of six astronaut heroes and one American legend. Ohio U.S. Senator John Glenn, the first American to orbit the Earth, roars back into space aboard shuttle Discovery at the age of 77. Today in history, October 29th, Tim McGuire, the Associated Press.